What's going on YouTube? So a little today, I just want to discuss about the Dow Jones. Um, recently, about three days ago, the Dow Jones dropped to like about 800 points, man. And you know, a lot of investors, the global investors, um, was kind of you know predicting it may be a little recession in the future. And this can be due to a lot of things, man. Uh, specifically for uh, between the United States and China due to tariffs, and you know, when President Donald Trump was trying to work out with the dictator of China in that particular time, it's really hard for them to really get like tax and importing goods at this moment, and what affecting the rate because at the same time it's going to affect the consumers rate about ten percent if this continues and now the dow jones is actually up right now i say about a game about 287 points which is a, a decent thing right now but man it's really plummeted man because like i said the trade wars and it's going to really affect consumers about 10 percent of purchasing electronics ice or any type of technology now you got to really uh, consider yourself i was watching um MSNBC or CNN, they was talking about the interest rate on trade bonds for different rates, which is like the inversion yield curve. And the inversion yield curve is lower interest rates on longer term bonds than shorter term bonds. So we already understand that you know a lot of investors invest in bonds, and actually this is really a, a, a really a decent investment because it gives you a lot of options, like a putable bond. A putable bond is pretty much is that you it's an option that you can use if you uh, to sell a bond and give it back to a governmental or a company or some type of agency because you fear that it's going to lose value and before it matures you know loses value or uh, the higher interest rates and so you just give it back to them and a the bond is so unique because it represents a promise for a borrower to pay a lender you know uh, through it's like a fixed income investment loan it's usually um, they pay the investor due to interest on the loan uh, and you only can get that from like private you know different public companies and and government companies and it's really interesting because i'm still reading like the guide to investing by uh, robert kiyosaki and they was going by the 90 10 rule and they, they said that 90 uh, 10 percent of people own 90 percent of the corporate stocks and this is how the rich invest they take a lot of risk and some of them or a lot of them are really not scared if the market crashed because they had different maneuvers and avenues in order you know they so knowledgeable about the stock market that yes it goes up and down but they're not gonna lose all their wealth why the average investor may be a little scared to take little menial risks and if you really want to win big and like in this corporate game or you're gambling like you have to really take a lot of risks and you got to understand the different certificate deposits that goes into that but you know the global bond investors are expecting slower grade on slower rates and federal uh, rates uh, president Donald Trump did kind of um, blame the feds on this and the feds can be blamed a little bit because I mean yeah they kind of have a huge responsibility of hiring their uh, interest rates man it's actually was like higher than four times before than last year according to the sources here um so uh the g the general electric bounced back by 7.6 percent which is a, a decent, decent thing this is actually how the dow jones was actually to uh plummet and go up to 287 points then you had carefree holdings they rose by 4.8 percent and yeah this is pretty much pretty much about it so like you know the 30 the best world's best uh companies you know investors is pretty much uh the pit only of the Dow Jones it actually started about in the 1800s, 1885. It's actually about started by Charles Dow, and Charles Dow actually owned nine railroads in that particular time. Then we can go fast forward to the early 1900s. That's when sugar and the tobacco company was really um, just a very good in the industrial um, revolution, all this stuff that was going on, uh, the railroads, and just a lot of inventions. And you know, it was pretty much primarily the headquarters of New York Stock Exchange. And you know, I just kind of understand this because you know, still reading more about finances because this can really affect us because inflation occurs, the U.S. currency goes down, and then it's not going to be valuable anymore at the end of the day. Things going to skyrocket. And then you still got people who's in the middle, like middle class, making fifty thousand, six thousand a year. And I mean, they may, it may be get eliminated in a way. It's still they still may be struggling and probably go down to like a lower middle class because I mean, once you print out this money, you have fiat notes, and that's what the Federal Reserve do. It prints out billions of dollars each and every single year. It's not going to be really as worth as much, especially when you have trade wars between the you know two world's best, uh, more powerful countries in the world right now. It's really not seeing eye to eye. I forgot the dictator name of China, but at the same time, man, I mean, he's looking at, like, President Donald Trump. You got, what, another two years? What, another four years? He's like, I'm going to be the president for life, so why would I work out trade agreements with you in this particular time? I heard it's been, like, a 25% uh, U.S. tariff uh, on China, which accumulates to, like, at least over $250 billion, man. So, um, you know, a lot of things, these important goods, man, I mean, there's really nothing out of eye at this moment. So just, I should say, like, you know, just invest, 
you know, save your money a little bit. But if it's going to be another recession about 2007, 2008, 2011, it's a possibility. But at the same time, you know, people, you know, believe in, you know, purchasing gold, something that's very tangible is going to trading. But yeah, the U.S. currency, it, it does lose its value every year. I mean, you got to think about, too, like uh, the debt is like, what, over 20 something trillion dollars in debt. It increases all the time. So, I mean, these big technologies like Google, you know, Apple. Amazon. I mean, businesses that you know people rely on each and every single day, especially in the tech world. It's uh, you know, they they're pretty much the whole of the economy. But just kind of you know, keep your head straight on this, man. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, um, I just you know, of course, keep God first and have the Lord you know speak to you and when when to invest or to I say you know stock on food and water. Just different, you know, get your basic necessities because it may become a point in time that yeah, like it's we might not reach to a, a recovery you know, due to the economy. But at this moment, you know, it shouldn't be too, you shouldn't be too fearful, but still be on alert. But this is your boy, Only Junior. So I really want to talk about the Dow Jones at this moment, man, um, because uh, it, it really kind of affects me in a little bit in a, in a way. I mean, especially to, you know, investors that's coming up. But yeah, just learn more about it. I actually going to do a book review on a uh, guide to investing. It's actually really good. Uh, that's why I actually been really kind of passionate about finance back in 2013. I was like, man, this is this is really interesting actually to learn. But you know, you guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, email me at writing9312 at gmail.com for any topic you want me to talk about. I'll be more likely to do it, man. I love it. And yeah, so that's all I have to say. God bless.